Hey, what's up everyone? I want to show off some of the newest features in Buto 3.0. The first thing I'm going to highlight is the ability to use Buto Fog Volumes. These are now integrated with the Unity URP volume uh, component system. So when you add a new volume to any game object in your scene, you can simply go here and then click on uh, Volumetric Fog Profile. I've already included a few and then you'll see that it just renders instantly. This is awesome because now that it's part of the volume component system, we can also use local fog volumes as well. I've already set one up over here. You'll see when I enter this fog volume, it can change the effect. This will give you a lot more control over when and where and how your fog is looking in your scene. Setting that aside, I've also added more controls for how your fog is rendering in different areas of your scene. I call these fog density masks. Right now they only operate as spheres. In the future I plan to add other uh, geometric shapes and potentially texture maps as well. I've set one up here. You can see as soon as I turn this on you can configure the density multiplier and the radius of the fog sphere. You can have up to eight of these concurrently in a scene, um, active at one time, but you can import as many as you'd like. I'll show you. You can see after we add eight, the later ones become cold. They're called based on distance to the camera. This happens automatically in the background. You can also control how these are rendered from your Buto fog volume. If you go to your fog mask blend mode, changing the mode to exclusive will cause only the fog volume fog density masks to be rendered. Additive causes them to be layered on top. You can add fog density masks by right clicking, going to effects, and then selecting Buto fog density mask. These automatically use the same 3D texture, 3D volume noise texture that's being used by the active fog renderer. Additional lights also benefit from the newest release in terms of being able to include as many as you'd like in a scene. You can see here I have four different lights. I'll duplicate this entire bundle, move it over here. I'll duplicate it again. And you can see that these lights are rendered as we approach them based on the distance to the camera. This happens dynamically. There is pop-in, just be careful about how and where you layer your lights. Additionally, we've integrated Buto with spher spherical harmonics included in Unity. You can see that Buto automatically picks up the skylight color. Okay, thanks for watching.